Hi friends, another day, another lesson. This was supposed to be our spring break week and we are super sad we can't be on the beach, but we're gonna bring the beach as close to us this week as we can with some fun ideas um, around spring break. So today we are gonna make a sea turtle and a sea turtle that you might see at the beach. One of the most important tools you'll need today are these guys that you might see in your kitchen when your parents make coffee. So grab a coffee filter and then I'll show you all the steps and the rest of the materials that you'll need for today. I'm gonna move you down here so you're a little bit closer to the work area. All right, so we're gonna set our sea turtle up here for a little bit. The first thing we need to do is make that coffee filter. So you're gonna take a white piece of paper. I would try to find a heavier piece just because you're, it's gonna get wet. So sometimes when you use computer paper, um, it just kind of isn't as strong as we need it to be. So kind of try to find a strong piece of paper. You're gonna take that coffee filter and they kind of stick together. It's almost like tissue paper. Um, and we're gonna fold it out, kind of fan it out and open up that circle as best we can. Now I like to spray a little bit of water or use a paintbrush to get water on it just so it starts to help flatten it. And we want it to get nice and wet anyway. So you can see it's stuck on there. Now from this part, you can use food coloring. You could use liquid watercolors or any type of watercolor paint that you have at home, or you could even use markers for this part. So I've got my Mr. Sketch here, those smelly ones that I love, and I've got some paint too, so I'm gonna show you with both. So after I sprayed it, I'm gonna spray it a little bit more, get it wet. I'm just gonna add some color. Like I said, it doesn't have to be this is gonna be our sea turtle shell. So <clears throat> we want it to be nice and colorful. And you can see I'm just adding dots of color. Now I'm gonna use um, some paint too, just in case people at home have some paint. Or you could use food coloring too. So anything that's gonna give you that nice bright color. And I'm just adding dots. I'm cleaning my brush off in between each colors because I just wanna kind of keep my brush nice and clean and you want to try to cover it all so that there's no white spots left so it's going to make this kind of cool tie-dye looking effect so let me show you get that out of the way so it's gonna look something like that, super cool, tie-dye, I love it, looks so pretty. Now we're gonna let this dry for a few minutes. So this will dry super quick, but you wanna put it somewhere out of the way um, and come back to it in a few minutes once it's dry. So I went ahead and I made one earlier that's dried, and I'm going to show you what we're gonna do. So here is what we're gonna do when we want to find our shell. Oh, see, it fell off because it was already dry. Now see, isn't this part the coolest? It's got those little like crinkle lines of the um, real sea turtle if we were to see one out in the ocean. So this piece, we don't even need this anymore. It's just kind of cool. You could make something else out of it. Maybe make a butterfly or you know, a really easy thing to do with this is if you crinkle it up and you add a clothespin in the middle, you could make a cute little butterfly out of this piece. But we're actually done with it for this project. So keep it, do something creative with it, but we're done with this project. This is the part we want. So you're gonna take scissors and you're gonna cut out carefully around to make that kind of circly shape. And you know, sea turtles doesn't have to be exactly a, cir a circle. So if it becomes more of like a little ovally shape, that's okay too. Okay, so this is the part we want. We can throw away our scraps. And now we want to have a background. So I chose a blue color, but you could color a piece, you could paint a blue piece of paper, um, but I just wanted to do this for my water or eventually you could just color the background blue. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on my shell somewhere, wherever you wanna place it on your page. So take that glue stick or glue or whatever kind of glue bottle, you just need it to stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on there. So it's on my page now. And now I'm gonna draw my sea turtle. 
So if you had a black Sharpie or if you want to do it with regular markers, we're going to color it in with crayons or oil pastels, but um, I like to draw the features first. So I'm going to draw his head, which is just kind of like a rainbow shape. I'm going to give him some fins. I'm going to give him four of them. Or sorry, not fins, his little legs. But they kind of act like fins, right? And then I'll give him a little tail. It's kind of like a triangle. Maybe I'll give him some little eyes up here too. Perfect. Now we're going to start to color it in. So like I said, if you have oil pastels or markers, I'm going to use oil pastels. If you have crayons, anything to color is going to be great. Um, I'm going to choose maybe a green color. And I'm going to start to color in his body. And I, with oil pastels, I like to use a couple colors at once to blend them, which is kind of fun. So I'm going to use a dark. And I'm not going to finish this whole sea turtle just for the sake of time because you can take your time and do all the details at home. But I'm going to show you some ideas. So keep coloring in um, your turtle. Maybe you want to give it some sand. So you're going to add maybe a line at the bottom where there's some sand. You could roll your um, oil pastel or crayon. So using the side of it to create kind of that like texture-y look. If you can see that, it's one way to use it. Maybe I'll add a little bit darker orange down here too so you can see it. And remember coral and all the things that live under the sea always have those bright fun colors. So think about that as you're coloring it in. Maybe you want to add some seaweed. You could use markers too. You could use lots of different mediums. You don't have to just use one. Maybe I'm going to do some seaweed. Ooh, this smells good. It smells like mint. And then maybe I just want to draw some starfish or fish in there or a seashell. Here, I'm going to draw kind of a starfish shape down in the corner. So I'm adding some seaweed, adding some starfish. Ooh, I know, maybe some bubbles. We need some bubbles coming up. So you can draw little kind of bubbles coming up. But you just keep this going. Create whatever you want in the background of your sea life. Pretend you're at the beach, wishing we could see all those things. Here again, it's one that's a little bit more completed, but you can add whatever you want to this. So have some fun guys. I would love to see your artwork. Um, I wish we could all be together in the studio, but this is the next best thing. So get creative, get busy, enjoy that sunshine today, and I will see you again soon. Bye.